Hello again, everybody. Josh Brown here, Director of Digital Engagement for the Town Post Network. If you're watching this video today, you're one of our new freelance photographers in the Town Post Network, so welcome aboard. This video today, we want to address 10 tips for our freelance photographers, 10 tips for you guys today that I think will help, help you when you're out on your assignments. So let's jump right into this. Tip number one, when first reaching out, for a photo assignment to set up a photo shoot. Maybe you're sending an email uh, to the, the contact you've been given or maybe you're giving them a phone call to set up uh, your photo shoot. Make sure to let the person know that you are a photographer with the name of the magazine that you're doing the shoot for. So uh, don't say the Town Post Network. A lot of times people don't know exactly what that is. It makes a lot more sense if you're doing a photo shoot for the Fisher's Magazine to say, hey, I'm a photographer with the Fisher's Magazine. I've been assigned to this story. It just helps to say that so they know it's going to click for them right away. Oh, that's right. You guys are doing a story on us. And, and, they, and, they, and they'll have name rec recognition of the magazine to know who you are. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, make sure to get photo captions. Um, ask these people when you're there, can you spell your first and last name for me? Ha have them jot it down. It doesn't have to be every person. If you're doing a photo shoot, maybe that's it's got a group of people that you're getting a big group shot of. We don't need the name and title of every person, but the, the main person or persons, maybe it's an owner, co-owner, founder, whoever it is, we do need their first and last name and what their title is. Um, so we have that on file where we're able to put that caption in the magazine later. And the best place to put that is on our Flickr notes. Flickr is what you guys will be using to upload your photo shoots and to put captions on and we will have a training video for Flickr to show you how to upload there and how to do photo captions. So make sure you get photo captions when you're out on your photography assignments. Tip number three, get a good variety of images and shots. Get different shots, not, not a bunch of the same type of portrait shot or maybe just a few in one spot. We want you guys to be creative. Try to get a few different there are several different images, uh, portraits of people in a couple different spots. We want a good variety of images for these photo shoots. Tip number four, always get horizontal and vertical portrait shots. Uh, this might sound elementary, this might sound like something you would think of, but there have been times where all we get from a photographer maybe is all horizontal shots or all vertical shots. And as you would imagine for our designers, that can be difficult for them laying out a story in the, in the actual magazine, trying to make it look cool in the design when you've only got a certain amount of, of photos, whether vertical or horizontal to use. So make sure to get several different, again, several different shots, several different varieties, uh, but especially horizontal and vertical of people, make sure to get a few of each, not just one or the other. Um, as part of this, have an eye out for, for what might look good on the cover of our magazines. You never know. It, it, even if the story, the, the photo shoot that you're doing wasn't specifically assigned as a cover, we typically with our magazines like to let the photography drive our cover images. We might have in mind a different story one month for a cover, but if we've got great photography for another story and that photo would look better on the cover, there's a decent chance we could pick that photo. So. When you're doing these photo shoots, even if it's just a feature shoot, make sure to have a good eye out for, for what might look like a good cover. Take a few photos that you think might look cool on the cover of the magazine that you're shooting for. Tip number five, use our photo release form. Uh, this will be made available for you to download and use. It'll be available for you to save to your computer and print off for whenever you need it. Uh, but take it out on assignment specifically for those maybe with kids, um, kids with disabilities, just sensitive subjects in general, you'll, you'll want to make sure that you guys have that photo release form, that you have permission to get those photos. We want you to get those signatures from people to make sure we have permission to print those photos in the magazine. So make sure to use our photo release form and again, we will make that available to you guys to download. Tip number six, be aware of backgrounds and surroundings. Now you guys are professional photographers, that's photography 101, you know it. But every once in a while, we'll still get some images with some odd backgrounds or something weird sticking out of someone's head in the back that maybe just went unnoticed. So definitely be aware of the backgrounds of your surroundings, where you have people standing in position to make sure we don't have those issues uh, come about in your photos. 
Tip number seven, no crazy effects, shadows or lighting on edits. Please no crazy effects uh, or lighting unless a publisher that maybe asked you to do this. Now we try to give you guys free reign creatively for those things, but generally it's not something that we ask you to do, but we'll ask that you use your, use your discretion. You guys know, especially if an image maybe needs to be brightened and you need to increase maybe the sharpness or brightness of it, whatever it is, you guys kind of know how the editing needs to go on that, but just make sure to have no crazy lighting effects. Tip number eight, get plenty of cover photo options, especially if this has been assigned, the publisher sent it to you as a cover story. We know this is gonna be a cover for the magazine that month. Make sure to get a lot of good cover images. Put out all the stops. Don't just get a bunch of the same shot or one shot. Make sure to get different looks backgrounds, poses, people in different spots. And as a part of this, and this kind of goes along with the, the being aware of who you're shooting and the surroundings, make sure that the people you're shooting aren't wearing sunglasses or have anything like that on. We want to, we want to see their eyes. We want to see their face. Uh, that's just something sometimes that can be forgotten about, especially if it's, if it's a nice day. It's sunny outside. So just make sure people aren't wearing sunglasses or anything like that. We want to see their face and we want to be able to see their smile on the, on the cover. Tip number nine, upload your images to Flickr. Now I mentioned Flickr a little bit earlier uh, when talking about photo captions, but this is how you guys will be sending your photos to us. Uh, again, we'll have a screen capture video showing you guys how to upload to, to Flickr. It's a simple process, but essentially you'll create an album You'll name the album, whatever your photo shoot is, whatever the, or whatever the name of your photo assignment is, and you'll upload all of your images there. And you'll be able, either on certain images, or even just in the notes at the top of your album title, to put photo captions on the images. Maybe it's something like, hey, person in the glasses is first, last name, and title. We just, again, we need those captions on there to help us know who those people are. It saves us time in the proofing when we're actually looking at the magazine and the photos have been selected by the designers to know who is in the photo so we're not having to text you guys or email or hunt, hunt down later who is in the photos that you've taken. So make sure to upload your images to Flickr and put photo captions on there. And last but not least, tip number 10, please stay on deadline. Be mindful of our deadlines, guys. Uh, we always try to give you at least a week, usually a week and a half to two or more sometimes, to complete assignments. If you ever need more time, simply email your publisher, email us for an extension uh, to keep us in the know, to let us know if you just need more time, and that happens sometimes. You know, Sometimes you just run into scheduling uh, conflicts with people that maybe just don't have the time that you have that week to get a photo shoot done. Just make sure to keep us in the loop. Make sure to try and do your very best to stay on the deadline for your assignments. Well, that's our 10 tips for you guys as freelance photographers. I hope this was helpful for you. We will make this video, these tips, available as a Word doc to download so you'll be able to review them and use them that way. Thanks for taking time to watch this video and going through our training portal of videos. Welcome aboard the Town Post uh, Network. We're excited to see your photos and your assignments soon. We'll talk to you soon.